Hey guys, this is Ashish from Guiding Tech and in today's quick video, I'm going to talk about Wi-Fi issues that you face on Windows and I'll talk about how you can fix them. Yes, you heard it right. I'll be talking about the fixes that will help you resolve your Wi-Fi issues on your Windows 10 PC or a laptop without any issues. So well, what are we waiting for? You're watching Guiding Tech. My name is Ashish. Let's get started. So the very first trick is very simple and uh, all you need to do is forget a Wi-Fi network and then reconnect it using the password or the login credential for that network. Now before I tell you why this helps, let me tell you how you can do it. So to get started, open up the settings app and then go to network and internet. Here into the Wi-Fi section, click on manage known networks and find your saved Wi-Fi network. And all you need to do is now click on the forget button. And once you have done that, try reconnecting to the same Wi-Fi network again. Now, one thing to note here is that you'll need the Wi-Fi password. And if you're not sure about it, please don't do that. But if you know the Wi-Fi password, you can go ahead and connect to it. So now about the reason as to why you are doing this and I mean, what fixed all of a sudden so that you can connect. So there are n number of reasons and uh, the basic thing I can tell you is that sometimes you need to get, I mean sometimes you need to renew your IP or things might change on your router level or there are some settings that might be interfering in that particular connection. So well when you reset and you reconnect to a Wi-Fi network again, it gets the information from the Wi-Fi router and then all things are good to go and 80% of the time this will solve an issue. Now moving on, the next thing that you can do is try resetting your Wi-Fi adapter, be it external or an internal adapter on your desktop or on your laptop. You can re, I mean, you can reinstall it or kind of reactivate it. So to do so, head over to Network and Sharing Center and then click Change Adapter Settings. Now find your Wi-Fi adapter, right click on it and then select Disable. Wait for a couple of seconds and then re-enable it. And in so many scenarios, I've personally seen that doing this can resolve a Wi-Fi issue on so many laptops and desktops out there. So if you've tried the first two tricks and the issue still persists, what you can do is have a look at the power management policy for your laptop or desktop. So we all know that wireless communication uses a lot of battery juice and Windows usually tries to limit that by use of restricting power supplies to the Wi-Fi adapter. And this can sometimes result in slower speed of the network not working as a whole. So in order to fix this, open device manager and navigate to network adapter section. Now head over to properties of your Wi-Fi adapter and click on the power management tab. Now just uncheck, allow the computer to turn off the device and save power. This should ideally do the trick. However, for an even simpler method, you can change your power profile to high performance. And a lot of times this just works. Now the next thing that you can try is disabling the IVP6, I mean the IVP6 protocol, that is the newer protocol, it is, I mean, people have started using it, but it's still not widely used. So if that is causing the issue, you can go ahead and disable it and just use the IPv4. So to do so, open network and sharing center and open the properties for your Wi-Fi adapter. Here, find internet protocol version six and uncheck it. Once you have done that, you'll have to restart your device and hopefully your system should now be able to connect to the Wi-Fi network. And now finally, what you can do is try getting a new DNS. I mean, if you directly connect uh, through ISP, which dynamically associate, I mean, allocates you an IP, what you can do is you can get a new IP and see if the things work. I mean, it can sound really complicated, but it's super simple. So all you need to do is open the command prompt as admin and in the command window that pops up, type the following command one by one. The first command is ipconfig slash release and the second command is ipconfig slash renew. And now once you've done that, you can try reconnecting to your Wi-Fi router and chances are it might work. And now finally, the last thing that you can do, I mean, the last resort would be to reinstall the Wi-Fi drivers. I mean, it might sound complicated and you should only do it if you know, I mean, if you are sure that you'll be able to reinstall the Wi-Fi driver if it doesn't install automatically. So to get started, what you can do is press the Windows key and X and choose device manager 
and now under the network section you'll find your network adapter right click on it and then select uninstall once the driver has been uninstalled restart your system if you are lucky windows will automatically reinstall the driver for your adapter at the next boot and you should be good to go if not you'll have to manually install the wi-fi drivers and what you can do is you can try installing it i mean you can search windows i mean you can ask windows to search online or if you know the make and model of your wi-fi adapter you can head over to the home page download the drivers and install them manually now the first five might solve your issue i mean 99 percent of the time it might solve the issue but just one percent of the time if that doesn't work you can try reinstalling the wi-fi adapters driver and with that i come to an end of this video and i hope i mean all these steps will definitely help you out and if you are facing any other issues, please do let us know in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button right now. So, well, that's all in this video and I hope to see you on our next one. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.